been fortunate enough to eat or eat organically and, and be involved from from birth really. So yeah, organic farming is is the only way of the future if we, if we want to, in the long term, sustainably feed a planet. Recognize on your body that is healthy, and also on the on the land. Um, I left my job in the travel industry and I decided that I wanted to do something that I really love. You have a uh, well-educated, decent human being in the end, you know, that will bring something positive into the world. And that's what you have to do with the soil as well. You have to invest a lot of time in it. And in the future, you will have soil that will be for centuries. Um, but at least, you, you know, it's, it's, the balance is, is very different um, and much more favorable. For me, that was just amazing that you can actually grow your own food right outside and it tastes good. You know, and everything with GM nowadays, um, it's a short term solution. You are not going to have seeds. So it's the problem that then you must go back to these companies. Also, when you work with biodynamic agriculture or organic agriculture, you're actually producing food that people can trust. If you grow up with organic food, it's a very whole environment that you grow up in so everything is affecting that food. This farm where I am now and my experience of it has been seeing how the animals are treated and being able to take part in that and have a relationship with the animals. It's the only way forward, small scale uh, growing. A lot of small farms that are able to grow and specialize in certain things and but grow also a wide variety of fruit and vegetables. It's also fun, you know. It is. <laughs> I wouldn't choose it if it wasn't.